Here we are. Arrived at Strasbourg. Et mes gars ont marqué deux vies avec les deux. Tu sais, c'est vraiment really imposing as you walk down this road. I don't know if it's meant to look like it, but it's like the uh, the front of, a, of an old ship. These stained glass windows here in the uh, cathedral, each uh, one of them has a, a picture of demons. And I think that's the one here. Where you got them killing babies. This one here looks like they're trying to tempt people to come over to the dark side. The only one I can see on this one is where they're whipping. I don't know if that's meant to be Jesus or not. Not sure because they, they don't look like Romans. And this one here is obviously the most blatant one. That looks to me like, oh, you're, you're going to go and burn in hell. I suppose these were put up back in the day to scare people. Be a good Christian, or this is what's going to happen to you. This this thing here is apparently in the 16th century where men had to measure their bellies by sliding through that in between the pillar and the wall. It's right outside the cathedral and, and, and if they didn't the wives would put them on a diet saying they drunk too much beer and it too much. It's not something to eat, you can have a disgusting burger or go in the Irish Mexican place, O'Tacos. It's a bit more quieter, this bit here, the cathedral's up that way. It's rammed up in there with tourists. I'll tell you what also I didn't like up there. Everywhere you go, there's blokes driving vans down, the, down on the actual pavement on the streets and there. And obviously it's in the back of your head that one of them's going to drive into you. Cellar. It's the entrance down there. 
I'll try. This apparently started in 14, 1472. And what they're saying is one of these fats will hold 3,000 litres of wine. Should have brought my hammer with me. Ever. At the end of something, you've got the gift shop. And just found this place up here where the two towers are where you can hire these little boats I think it looks about 45 euros for an hour so you can go up and down the canals so I made a, made a pit stop on the way back to uh, Colmar to have a look here this is a uh, just coming up at 3pm but I'd seen and done everything I wanted to eat Strasbourg to be honest there people say you need three or four days there I don't know so uh, but I've heard this place is meant to be really beautiful so uh, we'll have a couple of hours here and have a look around and there's a few spires and steeples in the distance there to explore and this fella is called General Rap.
I'll say one thing, this town is a hell of a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. And it's rammed with tourists. So it's just endless with these half timber dances everywhere. What a beautiful place. It's a lot of rain unfortunately. But... A beautiful, huge, quite big Gothic church. Well, the rain has eased off now, but the skies are looking blacker and blacker. And so, while well, there's a respite, I'm going to make a break for the train station. But I must say, in the uh, about hour and a half, I was walking around that coal mine. That's absolutely beautiful, a lot better than Strasbourg if you're looking for oldie woldy buildings and that. Without a doubt, worth checking out.